Hello, HPE fans, and welcome back to theCUBE's exclusive series covering the cloud AI journey. As you've already seen, we've had some fantastic interviews in this series, as well as some expert analysis from Rob Strecce. I'm delighted to be joined by Brad Parks today, coming to us to break down all things Morpheus and take us a little bit farther down this journey. Brad, thank you so much for taking the time today. Hey, thanks for having me, excited to be here. You have your reputation precedes you at <laughs> you. We have a lot of fans on our squad. I feel very lucky to be having this conversation with you. <laughs> Just to get us started, let's talk a bit about the inspiration behind Morpheus and and then how that has integrated hopefully seamlessly into the HPE group. <laughs> Yeah, happy to. Excited to be here. Like I said, I've known the the Cube team for a long time. Uh, love them all. And and thinking about kind of Morpheus as inspiration. I'm a I'm a nerd at heart. Former engineer, maybe with low social anxiety. This is how I got into this gig. But um, you know, a good superhero origin story. I still crave. You know, my comic book youth. Um, one of the things that excited me to come to Morpheus in the first place. Um, actually, when I left HPE about uh, about eight years ago, I'm I'm a, I'm a boomerang, as they say. Um, you know, I was talking with the founding team and, and it just got me excited. They actually were a internal digital transformation engine inside my former boss's $4 billion private equity firm. They were in charge of modernizing applications, deploying new workloads, doing things like analytics and being an internal service provider and application farm for dozens of companies. And if you start to think about the, the challenges in the enterprise, that's what enterprise IT is trying to do. They want to be a better service provider for their business. So Morpheus was born by practitioners. Now we're selling and then providing capacity to those same types of teams in the enterprise. That's really fun. I bet, you know, oftentimes when people think about their origin story, they don't realize how many times they're going to have to tell it. <laughs> Why would you not have a superhero yes. story if you couldn't? So Morpheus, the acquisition happened in August of, of last year, correct? In August of 2024. What have the last seven months been like? It's been a, it's been a whirlwind. Um, it's been, you know, it's been a lot of fun, I think, for the, for the team. It's been a lot of work. Um, it, it's, uh, it's been interesting to see this, you know, startup culture. I think one of the things, having gone through a couple of integrations when I was at HPE before, right, oftentimes new companies come in and you bring an entirely different perspective. And, and to me, that's exciting. And I've been actually co-engineering with HPE as Morpheus for a number of years. So in a lot of ways, this is, this is coming home. It just feels right. The most exciting thing for me in, over the last seven months has been Bringing this story, you know, up a notch, right? HPE has such a chance to help customers with their workloads, deploying their databases, modernizing their apps, and doing it on top of best-in-class infrastructure, but also talking to everybody else's infrastructure. So it's a very exciting time for HPE, for HPE customers and partners. So it's been a great uh, re-entry back to the HPE family. I can feel how genuine that sentiment is, Brad. <laughs> You strike me as a straight shooter and someone who's very authentic. It That's is all I got. I got one lane and I stay in. <laughs> well, and, and it makes sense. I mean, we had a similar conversation with Hong and Varma when we were talking about OpsRamp. The integrations can historically sometimes be a little tricky when you're in an acquisition. <laughs> there, I say that very gently and lovingly. It's challenging, but there's a lot that's happening there and, and two different cultures merging. When you've already been integrated and embedded like you were previously, it's really just changing an email address more than it is necessarily worrying too heavy about a traumatic change. It's not, a, yeah, it's not traumatic at all. And and, and some I've actually talked to some of our, our previous Morpheus customers about, you know, oftentimes small companies come into a big company and they kind of just get absorbed into the Borg and they evaporate. One of the exciting things for me is, you know, our, our co-founder, head of engineering, you know, former CEO, rather than just being tucked into the, the Borg, we're now actually overlaying the entire Morpheus software stack across the HPE portfolio. And he has 5X the amount of developers to bring to bear to, to make that real inside HPE. And very, very quickly, we are becoming the standard software platform that is powering 
the entire HPE private cloud portfolio. So that is very exciting for me. And I think it's just a, you know, a good validation, you know, of, of conversations I've had with Hong over the last couple of years. I've known Varma for the last few years. You know, we had a lot of OEMs and service providers that actually used Morpheus and OpsRamp together. So it it just feels right. And we are we're off and running. Oh, yeah. I mean, there's a synergy and a harmony to that. And and you can tell across the solutions and in talking to your community a lot more lately, it's it's very it's very apparent. So let's dig into that a little bit. So how does the integration of Morpheus with VM Essentials <laughs> enable companies to accelerate their innovation, particularly right now in such a critical time? Yeah, you asked what the last seven months have been like since acquisition. Well, VM Essentials was was actually a, a big piece of that. So. Um, Morpheus for years, for those who don't know us, right? We're an orchestration platform that ties into, you know, bare metal services, hypervisors, Kubernetes clusters, public clouds. We're focused on deploying workloads, bringing IT effectiveness and efficiency up a notch, which means we've integrated with KVM based clouds for a long time. About 18 to 24 months ago, right? Morpheus decided, hey, we, we know KVM very well. We've actually been using it internally for a number of years. We said, hey, we should provide customers with a built-in runtime option if they want one, while still maintaining best-in-class integration with all of these other runtime choices that are in enterprise environments. So VM Essentials really was the culmination of a lot of work Morpheus was previously doing, combined with a trajectory that HPE was already on. So the VM Essentials software package that you know, we launched back in December really is just the entry into the Morpheus family. It provides you with basic VM vending with a built-in KVM hypervisor, the VME hypervisor, but it also connects to Brownfield VMware environments. You can almost think of it as the starting point to have a hybrid cloud conversation. You can start with VM Essentials, but then start to get into the full Morpheus feature set. So that's kind of where VM Essentials plays for those who've been uh, seeing the news over the last few months. It's, it's just the entry point to this bigger end-to-end -end hybrid cloud story that we're about. Well, and, and in doing that, you are allowing the team to meet your customers where they are today, but also preparing them for the future that they're building towards tomorrow. And that could rapidly change and unintended morph over time. Oh, look, so, I see what you did. <laughs> you know, but I think I think that's I think that's really awesome. And and I do I'm, I've been very impressed across this series with the hybrid cloud strategy and the solutions that HPE brings to their customers. You know I have to bring up AI just because it is the topic du jour. Hey, yes. What features are you thinking about in terms of the AI initiatives you're seeing across your client portfolio? Yeah, I think, and even connecting that to the uh, the VM Essentials and, and the Morpheus origin story, right? We have been focused on, on helping IT teams orchestrate provision workloads into their environments, run things like automation, do application blueprinting. Let's let's put that focus on AI, right? What, what is the enterprise trying to do, right? They're going to be using different runtimes to meet different needs, and they don't want to be locked into any one runtime. They're going to be tying into third-party stacks from folks like NVIDIA and others, blueprinting applications so they can repeatedly deploy those in an automated way as part of pipelines, in this case, AI pipelines, running automation jobs to do things like training. Well, all of a sudden, uh, you know, an AI stack sounds an awful lot like a Morpheus stack. So if we look at, at Morpheus within the HPE portfolio, we are providing the underlying runtime flexibility and portability for customers within things like PC AI, but also in some uh, higher end deployments for very large enterprises who may have thousands of GPUs, but still need orchestration, automation, guardrails to make sure data scientists stay in their lane, but IT doesn't get in their way. These are concepts that are not new for IT. They're not new for Morpheus. We're just now applying them to this amazing new set of workloads that are transforming a lot of enterprises. So it's it's good timing. It's new, but in a lot of ways, it's it's why we exist uh, and have been doing for a long time. 
So you feel very poised to help folks I, navigate. Timing is everything, right? I think uh, we're in the right place at the right time. I think so. At least from our analysis, we certainly we certainly agree with that. Speaking of your ability to be in the right place at the right time and really have a great lay of the land, I'm curious what trends you're seeing. You, you know, you, you're configuring a lot of different environments. Mm -hmm. What are you seeing across VMs, containers, et cetera? Yeah, I think the, uh, you know, bringing it all together and it, I don't know if it's as much of a trend as a just an inevitability or a reality of, of IT today. The world is getting more complex, more heterogeneous, and it's moving faster than, you know, than ever before. Yet IT teams are not getting a corresponding increase in people, money, skills, right? So the the gap between kind of aspiration and ability to execute is only going to get wider. So one of the biggest trends that that I see is a focus on on platform thinking and an orchestration and automation within the enterprise. And it it sounds self-serving because that's what we do. But, you know, to be honest, I think one of the reasons we've grown in high double digits the last few years as a standalone and why HPE did this acquisition and why we are where we are today is if enterprises are going to scale to meet the needs of, of their business, right? If IT is going to be effective and is going to be efficient, they have to embrace platform thinking, which is the ability to provide end user developers, data scientists with on-demand self-service access to applications. They have to automate how they deal with infrastructure. So that that trend is very real. And, and again, timing is everything. We happen to be in the right place at the right time. No, I think I think that's a really good point that you just made. And, and it really is about embracing a, a, a de-siloed way of thinking when it comes across um, all organizations, whether we're talking about AI or not, literally just doing anything at scale at this point. I think that's that's critical. I I asked Patrick a fun question, and I want to ask <laughs> you this same question. If you could wave a magic wand and either educate your community or convey some message across the industry in general right now as they're thinking about their hybrid cloud strategy, as they're thinking about their orchestration, whatever that might be, what, what would you wave your little magic wand Ooh. to? I'm a Harry Potter fan. I probably have one, you know, somewhere in the house. Um, but, uh, time. Yes, uh, I think the the biggest piece for for HPE uh, teams, for customers, uh, for Morpheus folks, is is thinking about how HPE can challenge assumptions about what HPE is and what it means to, to customers, I think is what I would like to challenge and wave my, my little magic wand. And using abstraction, using automation, right? Uh, using agnosticism, like the three A's, right? Like that, those conversations are what, what we see happening in enterprise IT. It's what Morpheus brings to, uh, you know, brings to the party is the ability to talk to any runtime. Like, we don't care what runtime you're on. We want to automate everything, be agnostic, and, and really focus back on the workload. So that that's kind of what I would would put out there into the universe is, is a focus on those three principles as a way to help IT be more effective and more efficient for their traditional workloads as well as their AI workloads. Beautifully stated, Brad. Beautifully stated. I didn't even warn you that that question was. <laughs> I feel like I nailed it. Caught me I off guard. Subtly, I low-key kind of intuitively knew you might have a magic uh, wand. Uh, Patrick also says he has a wand. So we're going to have to get together and do some sort of funny uh, magical yeah. wand educational series. You something. know, Patrick and Rob and I have known each other for about 18 years. So we, you know, we may have some stories. Uh, we should do <laughs> a, a, a multi-way panel and you can just put all three of us on the hot seat. <laughs> I, I actually think there would, there would be some great fruits of that labor if that came together if nothing else for the comedy uh, and enjoyment oh the blooper reel it'd be golden oh yeah it would be yeah well exactly either way it's it's uh it's always worth catching you all in in dialogue between the brain power and the stories uh, regardless okay we've got we've got discover coming up in las vegas here it's already coming up on us geez already in june so soon 
Can you give us, I'm sure there's some secrets you can't quite share with us, but can you give us a little bit of a preview of what folks may be able to expect from the Morpheus side of things there? Absolutely. And I, um, yeah, I'm not that subtle. I don't keep secrets very well. I think if you, if you take what we've talked about, this ability to have a, a seamless orchestration experience across edge sites, data centers, co-location, public cloud, or any hypervisor, any runtime, any Kubernetes cluster, that vision, right, that, that HPE has, that Morpheus has embraced since at the beginning, is not just a vision. Like that is getting very real, very fast. And you think about what Morpheus is able to do within the HPE portfolio. I think, unlike a lot of acquisitions that happen where it looks good on PowerPoint and you know, you got to cobble together a lot of things. In this case, we've been co-engineering with HPE for a number of years. Things are going to get real very quick in an exciting way for customers. And I can't wait to uh, tell everybody about it at HPE Discover. Well, we can't wait to help you tell those stories at <laughs> HPE Discover. Brad, this has been super fun, super interesting. Thank you for playing along. Thank you for educating us. And frankly, congratulations on both the acquisition and all the hard work that you're doing over there to your entire Morpheus team and across the HPE squad. Thank you. We're all excited. Thanks for having us today and look forward to uh, seeing everybody at Discover here in just a few months. I know. Everyone go ahead and check it out. I do believe tickets are already available for Discover. And do be sure to check out the other two interviews that we've done that were mentioned in this series, as well as the analysis with Rob Stretch and I. Thanks for tuning in wherever you are. You've got Brad and I remote from this beautiful rock. I'm in Pacifica, California, and I believe Brad's in Denver, if I'm not. Mistaken. Denver, Colorado. Nice sunny day. Isn't it always sunny there, Brad? It is. We love it. <laughs> yes. And we hope you love wherever you are. Thanks for tuning in. You're watching The Cube, the leading source for enterprise tech news.